These digging machines have been removing sludge from this tunnel in the Himalayas for three days. But despite working all day and night, rescue workers haven't managed to clear as much debris as many had hoped. Family members of the 35 men who were working in the tunnel when it flooded told Al Jazeera they're losing hope and patience. My younger brother was working here on Sunday and at around 10.30 in the morning the deluge came and no one at the site could save themselves. There was no emergency siren or an emergency assembly point which would have helped people save themselves. Rescuers hope the men are staying alive in pockets of air 180 meters inside the tunnel, but they say clearing it has become more difficult as the sludge inside is turning into liquid. Uh, rescue operations, the tunnel work is already going on and uh, uh, like uh, the sludge is also coming back. As, as we are removing the sludge, it is again coming back, so the progress is uh, happening, but uh, like we have not yet reached the bodies and uh, or the uh, alive people, whoever, whoever may be there in the, in the, uh, in the tunnel. Next to the tunnel, engineers are building a zip line so that stranded villages across the river can reach safety by using a cable car until a bridge is built. Around five or six of our bridges used by villages to cross over have been washed away, because of which there has been no communication with the people stranded on the other side. We are building on a priority basis and have identified villages that have large population like this one, which is close to two and a half thousand. People. Helicopters are delivering food supplies to 13 villages that are cut off. Scientists say the flooding was most likely caused by a large ice sheet falling off a glacier. The river rose to where I'm standing now, carrying everything in its path with it. The government has said that it will study glaciers to prevent such tragedies, but a group of scientists tasked with doing exactly that in 2014 said that melting ice would lead to such landslides and avalanches, and constructing dams in this fragile ecosystem was dangerous. One third of the Himalayas glaciers is predicted to melt by the end of this century due to climate change and many people living and working here say they are already paying the price. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, Tapawan, Uttarakhand.